few features that have been added in uh, Inventor is the AnyCAD functionality. Now, AnyCAD functionality works with, you know, bringing in things like Pro Eves, uh, SolidWorks files, uh, you, know, you know, step files, SAT files, things like that. Um, what you might also not know, and, and, and DWG files as well, what you might not know is that AnyCAD also works with Inventor files. So as you can see over here, I'm working in Inventor 2021. Um, and I'm going to now open up this component over here in 2020. So I'm going to save it to just show you that it actually is a 2020 file. And I'm going a 2021 file, and I'm going to go and open up Inventor 2020. With 2020 now open, I'm going to go and I'm going to go back to that file over there. So with 2020 open, now I'm going to go back to that 2021 file that I've opened. Let's see how I can open that in 2020. So previously what happens, well, pre-2019.4, I would not be able to open up this file. As you can ever see over here, the last saved also just invented 2021, bottom left-hand corner. So it would just give me an error um, and say that it couldn't be open. So I'm going to select open and let's see what happens. So it's loading up and we probably expect it just to open up uh, immediately without any issues or without any dialog boxes popping up. And there we go. So you can see that it did pop up, no dialog boxes. But what you will notice over here, it doesn't have, it's got the history, but it's sitting inside a derived component. So if I right click over there, you'll see that I can suppress link and break the link. Okay. Now what happens is, you know, normally someone wouldn't just send you the entire, uh, the entire assembly. But they would send you, a derived component of that. So let's go back to 2021 and I'm going to just simplify this and open it back up in um, Inventor and see what happens. I've now opened up this part again in 2021. So you can see it looks a bit different there. It's not an assembly with a another assembly derived into it. You can see it's the full assembly at the top over there. Um, as you can see there also Autodesk Inventor Professional 2021. So what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to derive this component into a part file and then I'm going to break the link. And let's see what happens over there. Okay, so let's go to select a part, open up a new part, and then I'm going to go and derive this. So derive. And there's our air filter over there. Okay, we're going to derive it to maintain each solid as a solid body. Let's go do a solid body keep seams uh, between each part. I want to derive everything in. Okay, and then select a can. This is going to go and convert that into a, a part for me. Okay, so there we go. So now that's just one part. Um, and I am going to go and just break that link. Break link with the base component. And I'm going to go save this, but I'm going to go save this on my desktop. So it's going to be away from, from the actual components. So you see, if I break that link with the original assembly, what it's actually going to do. So let's go to... desktop so by saving on the desktop what i'm doing is i am sort of simulating what would happen if i send it if i send this file to someone else um, who doesn't have access or that link to the uh, to the to the original assembly files Okay, I'm now back in, in Inventor 2020. So this is now simulating maybe sending this to, to the client who's got it in 2020. This is still a 2021 file. So let's now see what happens when I open this. So you see there, Autodesk Inventor 2021. 
I mean, Autodesk Inventor 2020. Let's see what happens. Okay, yes, I want to open it. Okay, so there you can see it brings in the derived part. So it's saying it's bringing in the derived part because that's why I created it as. And it's just one solid, so there's nothing else to do. Select OK. And we should see it open up in 2020. Now, one thing I didn't do here is I didn't change my project file, my project location. So it's actually still referencing back to that original project over there. So what I'm, so you can see everything over here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to close this up quickly. And let's just go and make sure that uh, you know, we're not referencing back that 3ds Max pocket model. So I'm going to go AU Sheet Metal. So it's a totally different folder now. Now let's go see if we can open up that uh, file again from the desktop. Okay, so there's the that file. Open it up. Yes. And let's see what happens. Okay, and there we go. So select OK and your part is there. So when working with Inventor AnyCAD, and if you are going to be you know, sending assemblies to anyone, um, when you derive it, make sure to break that link. Um, I've seen previously that if you don't break that link, it then still now then goes and, and wants to look for the main assembly, and you won't be able to open up that, that components um, you know, if you've sent it to someone with Inventor 2020. Thanks very much for watching.